Hello and welcome back to JimMurphyMP.com, a way of keeping in touch with local and national politics and news. The big discussion in Scotland at the moment, of course, is the refereeing dispute and all sorts of people are blaming um, different football clubs, with, of course, Celtic getting most of the blame. But this is a longer term problem and I think the people who are most to blame are the football authorities, the SFA in particular. If you look at the way in which referees are allowed to be demonised by professional players, by amateur players and sometimes actually um, even in children's football, I think, think things have got to change. I go and watch youngsters play football and sometimes uh, the way referees are treated is utterly unacceptable. I go watch junior football and it's the same. Sometimes when I'm playing in football matches you're sometimes embarrassed by the behaviour of your teammates and then it permeates right up to professional football and I think that football can learn a lot from rugby. You can play into the ref, the ball gets moved 10 yards near your goal line. Um, only the captain and the team's allowed to approach the referee and of course in rugby the players call the referee sir. Now that's never going to happen in football um, but I'd rather they call them sir than some of the things I have to, my kids have to watch referees being called in football matches on the television. Beyond football, um, of course, where we had further disputes and demonstrations in London by students. I saw out my my office in the House of Commons the students fighting with the police. I just don't know what they think they're achieving. Those folk who come along and demonstrate peacefully, they've got a right to do it and their right to criticise Nick Clegg for the way in which he's abandoned his election promise. Um, but to fight with the police, I think, is uh, hooliganism. It's it's a group of people who think that recreational violence, as they see it, is acceptable, and it's not. It undermines the argument of the majority, um, and again, that's the only thing that's been discussed rather than the tuition fees policy. There's been controversy again in London about the way in which some Tories have spoken. Lord Jung saying we've never had it so good and had to resign as his Downing Street advisor, and now this new Tory Lord saying that um, poor people are going to breed because of welfare reform. It sometimes just shows just how, how little many people and the Tory party have changed. Um, beyond London and the House of Commons, the big news, of course, has been the Irish bailout because of the banking crisis that affect the country. Now, there's a lot that can be said about that, not, not enough time in this blog to do so, but I think we had a responsibility to act. Ireland's our nearest neighbour. We trade enormously with it. Um, it trades enormously with us. There's great links between our banks and institutions, and we had to act in the way that we've done. But I think it's a sober lesson for those in the SNP who said that Scotland should copy Ireland and Iceland in an arc of prosperity. Heartbreakingly, as people have I've said now for the past year or so, it's more an arc of insolvency. So as we look forward towards the Scottish elections, let's hear no more about Scotland copying Ireland. Ireland's had to look to Scottish, English, Welsh and Northern Ireland taxpayers to help bail out their country. And I don't think we should learn from what's happened in Ireland. That's heartbreaking um, as it is. So get in touch, any local issues, any local concerns. Let me know what you think of this blog and others by email, by Twitter and Facebook. And I look forward to being in St Ninians um, next week to meet the modern studies students from all over East Renfrewshire to talk to myself and I think Ken McIntosh um, about the issues that they're studying about politics and modern day life. If you're a modern studies student and you haven't heard about that, get in touch with your school, get in touch with the office or email myself and come along and we can chat about politics, parliament and all the things that are happening. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.